Yo, what's up? It's your boy Walter Emmanuel Jones, also known as Zach, the original Black Ranger. Hey! Hi, it's Amy Jo Johnson, Kimberly Pink Power Ranger. Hey, this is David Jost, the original Mighty Morphin Blue Power Ranger. And you're watching the fan club. And you're watching the fan club. Do you know what time it is? It's time for the fan club. Let's go! Hey! I made a fake one. There's Betsy, everybody! Woo! I'm the wonderful Tyler! Woo! Heck yeah, you guys are great. Well, hello, welcome to my living room. Hello, it's very nice. Hi. Sorry, that was a longer walkway than the last <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you're not the first. It's, it's quite long. I should have warned you. Yeah. Get your steps in, get your yeah. steps in. How, are you having a nice time in Chicago? By the way, I almost answered with my pellegrino. <laughs> It's that time of day. Me. It's okay. Do this. <laughs> yes, yes, we are. Okay, is this yes, your first are. time in the city? No. And I love Chicago. Yeah. It's also amazing. a very, very big Chicago fan. Yeah. 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 I shot my like my first big job was in Chicago and I spent four or five months here. So Yeah. 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 But the first time I came here it was winter and it really reminded me of home. Uh, that's Scotland, by the way, in case you didn't. Uh, I'm Scottish. I don't know if you know, noticed the last name. Yes, I did. Tell us. Yes, tell us. Yes, tell us. Uh, yeah, I made the point to say the Orkney that. Islands and Renfrew and Paisley. Paisley? Yeah. No wow. way. I heard a gasp over here. Someone else from there? Like, who else who's from there? <laughs> Anyone else got some kind of Scottish ancestry? And, and the, yeah, but, uh, yeah, that's it. That sounds about right. <laughs> um, it's lovely to meet you both. I mean, I wanted to ask you, what kind of, what is it that keeps you coming back to events like this? We don't really get a chance to meet fans that much in our day-to-day -day life, you know, because it's like we work a lot. And yeah, of course, if you're, you know, we film in Vancouver, you're wandering around Vancouver, someone will come say hi. But this is the only time you really get to make uh, a lot of FaceTime and. What's your name? Where are you from? What are you going through right now? And um, the storyline on um, the show that is not to be named right now, that was uh, very emotional. Just saying, I was like, that lasted Let's just call it Voldemort. <laughs> Voldemort, I said. So people have a, an emotional connection with this, the Voldemort storyline. Um, and I, I wouldn't know that otherwise. I mean, I try to I try to check social media and stuff, but it's different actually meeting someone face to face. I just left a met a lovely man named Henry who started crying, and, and I was like, God, am I? I have a panel. Just don't make me cry. Um, but it's funny at San Diego Comic Con, which I did every year for Grimm. They, they except for the very first year. The first year we premiered there, so they showed the pilot episode months before we actually premiered. So they showed it, it was July 2011, they showed the pilot, but we didn't actually even premiere until October of that year, so nobody knew who we were. And we, we, could, we were just wandering around Comic-Con and nobody was like, by the next year, because season one had aired and it was, it was such a hit, we had like, I, you know, I had a security guard and I was just getting ushered from event to event and I was like, oh, it was more fun last year. When, when I could actually like be out with people and, and um, wander around and um, so this, and e so at San Diego Comic Con, same thing, you don't really get to meet fans. So th these are the kinds of events where you can actually interact with people. Do you have any like favorite or memorable fan experiences or stories that someone has told you that really touched you or, or that you remember particularly? Um, yeah, I mean, ones that are probably like too personal to like share sure. like specifics on, but I think just the fact that you're involved with something or a project that means that much to somebody uh, and that they can connect to or either go through it with characters so they feel like they're not alone. Uh, I think those are like always the most important and special things. Cause I, 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 I love TV, I love film. I also have like huge love for sports. And I think for a lot of people like, the way that I feel about certain like sports and storylines that go on with you know because that's essentially what it is. I always explain like people don't really get the big deal about sports. It's the same thing. It's like the storylines. You're rooting for people. You're kind of like you know hoping someone can overcome something. And so um, in the same way, I have such an attachment to that. It's amazing to feel like you are a part of something that someone else can attach themselves to and go through it and uh, have that kind of an experience. So that's always really special. Anytime somebody says you know something was really personal to them and 
that helped them feel like they weren't alone and kind of helped them understand something. Like, I think that's really special. Must make the job really feel worthwhile when you hear it like that, because I guess, you know, you're stuck in a studio all day or on location, but that this is like the live realization of what's actually going on, which is lovely. Um, but yeah, I wanted to ask, because we're at Comic Con, um, were you a nerd for anything? Or a nerd, sorry, I'm trying to, having to translate myself. <laughs> nerd. Were you a nerd for anything uh, growing up? Um, anything, that particular TV show, a film, a genre? I mean, I liked Barbie. I haven't seen the movie yet. Um, I used to, and I had G.I. Joes too, and they would have sexual relations. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else I was super into. I, I, I had like the My Little Pony dolls when I was younger, and then I just became just a nerd nerd, like really into literature kind of a nerd. Yeah, but yeah, for you. Um, my nerding out was was sports. I gotta be honest. I had like a, stacks and stacks and stacks of baseball cards. Um, watched like every game on TV when I wasn't in practice, uh, and then I started working when I was a kid. I think my first job I was nine. So those are kind of like. I, I, I believe you were eight. I was eight when I started. My first job, I was nine. Keep up. Whatever. <laughs> so I wanted to ask about, because uh, you know, I know you were really into sports, but you, Tyler, you also started auditioning and things as a kid as well, is that correct? What was it like as a, as a really young boy going into auditions? Was that daunting? Because it's quite a big thing for a kid. Um, or were you quite brave? Were you like, oh, No, whatever. weirdly, I think it's one of those no, things. No, he's like, not brave. It, no. <laughs> just stupid. That's the, the same thing. Uh, no, I, I think that young, um, if it's, if it's a, you know, if you're getting into this kind of a business or this kind of a thing, I think you have enough of a personality that doesn't become too shy that you also don't know enough to be nervous yet. I think that actually comes later. Like, I feel like auditioning, the most difficult auditioning was probably like in my early, like maybe late teens and early 20s. Because I think that's when you're kind of like really feeling like you want to like either impress or like you feel like you need to do something. And uh, I think when you're younger, you haven't really had any of those thoughts or you haven't like had those certain insecurities kind of creep in yet. Um, so it's kind of like blissfully ignorant. So I think even like... Um, and, re and remains so. It's, it's, it's lovely. It really is. You should, you should try it sometime. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think there's like there's periods of that um, that I think you go through. And for me, that was like my, yeah, like late teens, early 20s. But now, how do you, I mean, we're all human, right? So I still feel nerves, even though, you know, you do your job over and over and over again. Do you still feel nerves at times and think, oh my God, what am I doing? This is weird. I'm nervous right now. Yeah, I mean, we're people. I still get nervous. I, I haven't auditioned in person in a while, both because of COVID and I've also been lucky enough to be on a show. So there's, there's not a lot I could do. Um, but I used to, when, when you, we would basically, as, as, as TV actors, you would basically do a screen test in front of all of the network executives, and sometimes there were 50 people in the room, sometimes more. Um, I, I booked a big HBO pilot, and there it was a massive auditorium at HBO, and like Sarah Jessica Parker was there, and I was, I was like, I'm going to poop myself right now. Um, I booked it, and I didn't poop myself. But um, yeah, really nerve-wracking situations. That day, settle yeah. down. Just that day. I like Carolyn Jersman. Yay! Yeah, I, I still get nervous for sure. Yeah. How do you, go, how do you guys get over that? Or is there something that you do before you walk on a stage? I, I sort of like center myself and almost take myself out of my body. It's almost like I'm watching. No, myself. I was in the back like. Where's food? Oh, is that me? Oh, oh, what? Pell Pellegrino. Oh, the, the microphone. No, no, there was nothing I was doing to prepare myself to. Well, I also thought we had more time, and then I, someone was like, they said your name, and I'm like, they said my name. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Like, Bit Bitsy, Bitsy. You're staring at a ball going, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> everything's good, everything's fine. Um, but when you were kids, um, if you had a chance to come to Comic Con, or if you did go to Comic Con, who would you have loved to have met? Like somebody from like television or movies? Shira. <gasps> yes. Were you really into Shira? Yeah. I prefer He Man, I have to say. I mean Shira was very cool, but I did like He Man. Yeah. It was it was the ridiculous hair and the almost nothing outfit. Yeah. I thought, I thought it was amazing. What about you? Um like when I was like a, a 
little little guy, I uh, was really into the Power Rangers. Uh, yeah. And we actually had uh, Amy Jo Johnson uh, directed one of our. Uh, I worked with Jamie Jo Johnson on something one time. Um, Jamie Jo. <laughs> Amy Jo, she's trying to not say other names, and so I'm confusing everything. Amy Jo Johnson, uh, who was great. Uh, so that was really fun. But like that was a that was a big one. Um, I'm a huge Indiana Jones fan. I've not seen the movie yet, though. Hey, I have not hey, seen it. Either. What about? Huh? Nah, that's too close to our stuff. Oh. I can't say that right now. Okay. <laughs> Keep it strong. I'm it trying to be good. I'm trying to be good. There are really rules. Good. There are rules, and I'm respecting them. You guys are doing really well. Like it's so all far. good, all good. Um, you mentioned you can't really, I guess you can't really walk around a convention floor anymore, but have you ever sort of donned a mask and just gone for a little wander? No, um, I did. I was at a, a, a Comic Con in uh, Australia once, and it was either the night, I think it might have been like the night before they were setting up, or it was like after the last day and everything. It was kind of like they were just like taking everything down. Then we just walked the whole floor, and it was Wait, super. Wasn't cool. that like two weeks ago? No, no, this was oh. a couple years ago, and uh, but it was really cool just to see like like Artist Alley and all the different like vendors and stuff and those things that they make and create. And there's this really cool guy, um, uh, Jack of the Dust. I think that's still his page. I'm not sure, um, but he did these really cool like skulls that he had then done with all these different characters. Like one was like Iron Man, one was Batman, one was Joker. Um, all these like really cool like little school things and I love those so I got a, a couple of those but it was just yeah it's great to see all like the creative stuff that people do. Are you allowed to say all the things you just said? I am because they're just the characters and the We skulls. should just sit in the panel and just stare at each other and like just like try and transmit thoughts to, yeah, exactly, to the audience exactly. just like staring really creepily at people like you, you got me you got me. Um, what about collectibles and things like that when you were growing up because there's so many things I can't walk around the floor also I can't fit anything in my case gotta go back to London and not be fighting the million pounds. Um, but is there anything that you collected when you were younger? Particularly, I used to collect trolls, Pennies. Pennies. Thundercats. Yeah. Uh, monsters in your pocket, anybody have those? Remember? Yeah, okay, so many knows, yeah. We had those, there was a video game for that too, right? Yeah, yeah, so there was, uh, there was that. Um, I'm actively trying to find my Pokemon cards because I don't know where they are. Um, so anybody here who collects them, you know how painful this must be for me. Can't find them anywhere. I had like a complete original deck, and then uh, like I'm pretty sure almost like a complete fossil deck of all of them. Um, yeah, maybe I can't Tanner find them sold them. Something. No, because he's searching with me to find his. <laughs> me Sur and, searching. Me and my brother are both trying to find he's our. He's searching our cards. so hard. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. He won't tell me. He won't tell me. I always uh, I, I ask this because some people don't really get into collecting things. But I am a hoarder. Um, and I'm moving to LA soon and I've been looking through, I had to sell half my comic collection which was painful man, it's painful and a lot of my toys but a lot of the things you look at you go what is this? Why did I keep this random thing? Are you hoarders? Or I am an anti-hoarder, I really am. I routinely okay. go through, if I get new clothes I pretty much have a rule like as many new items as I just got I give away. And my daughter is kind of like, Where, where's that one? And I'm like, sorry, you just, I, what I've actually said now, sorry. I include her. <laughs> no, I include her, but like if she, if we're in a store and she's like, oh, I want that like Squishmallow. I'm like, okay, you can get that Squishmallow if you give away two toys when we get home. Because she has too much stuff. Wait, hey, she's got stricter rules than you? You get one for one and she gets two for one? Yeah, she's got more stuff than I do. Somehow children just accumulate crap. Um, but so that's the new rule, and, um, and, she, and it's an agreement, and then we get home and she goes through and she's like, yeah, yeah, I don't use that anymore, and we, we give away two things, and then she gets one new one. So I'm not a hoarder at all. Betsy, I need you to come back to London with me and manage my move. Okay. Because uh, I'm struggling here. <laughs> like, I'm really, really struggling. I'm like somewhere in the middle, so I, I get it. I, I, I understand. You're a hoarder then, sort of. I like to I like to hold on to as much as I can. I get it from my dad. My dad likes to hold on to everything. It's, um, but I've gotten better. At, like, if I don't have like a specific place, to, if I can't remember where I put something, if I just like come across it the next time, I'm like, okay. It's gotta go. Like I didn't, I didn't know that it was there, so I'm obviously never. Unless it's a that. Pokemon collection. Unless it's a Pokemon. Why do you gotta rub that in right now? I just told you this was a sensitive topic. <laughs> trying to hurt me. I like your body line. You, you got very triggered there. Like, oh God, I can't. Oh no. Um, I wanted to talk about, uh, about you guys working together. You know, I'm always interested when actors have to work closely together on projects. Of course, you know, you read together, you meet before, and everything. But no, we didn't. Oh, you didn't? No, we actually didn't. We 
got and I and uh, we were cast separately, and he had been doing this role uh, a year before me, a year or two before me, and then I got the role totally separately. And the day I, I went to to play the role for the first time, I was praying that he was good. <laughs> And also, like, decent and kind. And some prayers don't come true. You know, that's life. That's how it goes. <laughs> and I was just sorely disappointed. No, I was so happy because the chemistry was so great um, on screen and off screen. We get along so, so well. Like, we have too much fun. But we had never met. Because oh, I was yeah. going to ask you, how do you then, if you've never met, do you make a point of bonding off set? Go, hey, let's go for dinner and let's do these things. Like... We didn't really have to. I mean, um, we hung out like a couple times, but yeah. nothing really crazy. And then also, yeah. you know, I also was pregnant at the time, um, and I was not probably not like feeling great. Like I w was working hard, and then I was would go home and sleep. Yeah. So yeah. Just... And then and then when we started doing our own thing, uh, it was uh, during COVID. Yeah. Uh, so everything was like shut down. So there weren't really anywhere. There wasn't anywhere to really go. Yeah. Do anything. We well, were. Really... We, yeah. We would hang out. We had little pods of cast that were working a lot together and then we were like okay well it's safe for us to hang out offset together because i worked with you all day um, it was a crazy time yeah i'm always quite interested in what kind of things makes like you know when you kind of act as like corpse on set and you can't stop laughing you know kind of like you're at school and you're like oh my god oh my god oh my god and you can't bring who is the one that's notorious for making everyone laugh and bringing it to that point where you can't bring it back. We don't really get to the point of like, can't bring it back. That doesn't happen very often. Um, I, I do get the giggles. She gets the giggles, but I will say that she usually causes all of it too though. <laughs> Something has usually happened via Bitsy that we all enjoy and, and laugh at, and then Bitsy is the one yeah. that ends up giggling at it the most. Yeah. So yeah, it's like this weird cycle thing that goes. I love that. Um, no. We're going to play a Wii game. Okay. It's called This or That. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you a couple of choices. Okay. And don't think about it, okay? okay. No thinking, okay? And no helping or shouting. Okay, so I'm very strict. I'm a very strict game am, am I answering for me or am I answering for him? I want you to answer for yourselves. Okay. Okay, so, okay. Bitsy, hot or cold weather? Cold. Hot. Okay, all right, okay, okay. Uh, whilst sleeping, Tyler, fan or no fan? Is it hot? <laughs> That's a good question. Yes, it is. It, it is, is, but yes. fan, yes. Okay, fan, no fan, no fan. Not only do I have a fan, I have a, a two white noise machines, an air purifier, earplugs, and often my iPad going, which has a white noise app. So it sounds like an airplane hanger in my room, and I can't sleep. I won't have it any other way. I love yeah. that. Oh my god. Very. Yeah. Are you quite? Uh, are you when? Because when I sleep, I'm boiling. It doesn't matter if it's the depths of winter, or super yeah. super warm. Are you quite a warm or a cold bodied sort of person? Warm. You're warm, warm body, yeah. same. All the time. Yeah. I feel like I probably run a little chilly. Yeah. I I gotta like stick the feet out the yeah. bed and like. Thank God it's just me and my cat and the scented candles. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to midlife crisis, you guys. Um, uh, shower or bath? Shower. Oh, bath. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. Okay, this is fair. No, this is I the most. Time. I almost have time for that. This is the most important one, and I shall be judging you both on this one. Okay. But I think I know what your answer might be. Okay. Guys. Scotland or England? I have never been to Scotland. I lived in Europe when I was younger. I was in Ireland last summer, and and I can't remember why we didn't do Scotland, because we were doing a, a con in Manchester and Wales, and there was a week off, and it was like either, is it Edinburgh? Yes, is Edinburgh. Edinburgh or um, Dublin, and I think the flights to Dublin were easier. Um, so I, I, I just, I plead the fifth. <sighs> I also Controversial. Have, I also have friends from both. I refuse to play this game. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And I like that you said Edinburgh. Yeah. All my American friends were like, Edinburgh. Sorry, that was terrible, and I'm very sorry. <laughs> yeah. I that's do apologize. That's a, that's a beautiful place, though. I it's one of my favorite places I've been. Oh, Edinburgh. Yes. Edinburgh is wonderful. I highly recommend my hometown of Glasgow. Uh, also okay. been there. Have very you? Nice. Yes. 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 yes, I know. It's yeah. so, so great. Um, okay, peanut butter. Crunchy or smooth? Crunchy. Smooth. 
Fast, right? I'm wrong. A, I'm a I was going to say you're wrong. Was, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. Memes or GIFs or GIFs? Um, memes. <sighs> you like GIFs. Sending or receiving? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting technical here. But there's a big no, no technicalities. Uh, no, I can answer this right. for him. He sends me more GIFs than memes. GIFs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> GIFs. Is it, okay, next question. Is it GIFs or GIFs? I, I GIFs. always ask, but every time I ask, they say GIFs. GIF. Right. You guys, yeah. it's GIFs, right? Yeah. 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 Some website, some bloody website said GIFs, <laughs> and now I'm paranoid. I'm like, am I saying it right? Am I down with the kids? I don't know. Um, I actually find myself answering most things now in GIFs. Yeah. So that's the they way. They are fun. They, they are, are fun. fun. Yeah. If I, I can't... hate to admit it, but they are fun. Yeah, they are. And if we don't have to use words, that's good. <laughs> um, okay, running super fast, like super fast, or flying? Flying. flying. Love it. Okay, being invisible or reading minds? Being invisible. Ugh, I would hate being a mind reader. Um, I don't know that I'd like being invisible either. So, neither. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. I mean, if you could read each other's minds, what do you think you'd be oh. finding? Oh, I don't part? want that. <laughs> Actually, the great thing about Bitsy, you don't have to read her mind. She says everything she thinks. Like, yeah. There's nothing that's censored. It's just, you get it Very all. Very blunt. I love and that. also, I just like don't really think before I speak. There's nothing wrong with no, that at all. You should know where you stand. Yeah, exactly. OK, Instagram or TikTok? Instagram. I'm too old for TikTok. OK. Instagram or TikTok? You begrudgingly, you guys all know. Instagram. OK, Instagram. I wanted to ask, because I did one TikTok post. One. And then I was like, I, I think I only have one too. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I actually don't, I don't, I don't know too. I, I'm out of here. I'm out. I quit. I quit. Yeah. It's too much. <laughs> it's kind of like that Homer uh, gif kind of going back into the bush. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. Or like the John Travolta one. That's kind of how I feel. Mostly. I was really excited. I was really proud of like the first one. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm, like, I'm gonna commit to this one. And then I was like, no, no I'm not. Man. No, I'm not. <laughs> well, let me ask this as as an addendum to this question. What does your Instagram algorithm look like? The reels. So I always. I don't think I've ever done a reel, actually. Oh really? Yeah. So you don't look at reels and do go down the scroll hole. I know I do other people's, but I I've never made one myself. Ah uh, no, I was wondering what's what you watch. Oh like, oh oh, oh um, like funny like animals and um, funny children and um, just goofy, like people falling down. And they don't, they don't hurt themselves that badly, but it always does make you laugh. <laughs> I love it. What yeah. about you, Tyler? What's, on your, uh, what's your algorithm showing you? Does it know you? Some of that, some of that as well. And then like sports, a lot of sports highlights. Uh, yeah, I have no sports. No, yeah. you will not find that on my, yeah. Infinitely, guys, mine is all manifestation or podcast pros telling me why I'm single. <laughs> um, it's great, just. Freaking great. Um, okay, so back to this or that. Traveling all the time or staying close to home? If you had a choice, obviously your job. Traveling all the time. Okay. I, I mean, I, I have a kid, so I would say staying close to home. Yeah. If, let's stay on the travel tip, though. Are there any places in the world that you really want to see that you'd be desperate to go to? Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Correct answer. Thank you, Pitsy. Yeah. <laughs> and Tokyo. Yes. Yeah. yes. I don't know if you noticed this, but like that was technically not a this or that question, but that was the fastest she answered any of the questions in a this or that format. <laughs> Heck yeah. Heck impressive. Yeah. Uh, I got, yeah, I feel like the more I travel, like the longer the list gets, just because you, you meet people that recommend three new places to go, um, things like that. Uh, I will say I was really lucky this year. Um, it was a trip I've been wanting to go on for like 10 years that I actually ended up taking my parents to. Uh, I went to Machu Picchu in Peru, so that was like, that was, it was epic, it was so amazing. Um, very grateful for the fact that they could come along, and so we did like the four day trail hike to the ruins, and it was really incredible. So like, that was like the one that I, that was my one that I've been looking forward to for a long time, so um, now it's kind of like back to just like, I haven't never been to Asia, um, plenty of places in South America I still want to go to. Like I. I got the travel bug pretty bad, and so it's just, it's been like a very eye-opening thing. I love meeting people from different places and hearing how they grew up differently, how they see the world differently. It's just a very enriching thing to be able to do, so very lucky to get to do that. Same. I always find this in this, like, I like being at home. Being at home is wonderful, and you've got your wee one at home as well, but 
do you still find though, Bitsy, when you're out and about? I find that when I'm out, I'm like, oh, I love this. I want to do more and more and oh, more. Oh, yeah. I mean, even last night, uh, I was out with Tyler and, and Danielle Panabaker, who's a dear, dear friend of mine, and Tom Cavanaugh and Carlos and a couple other people who were, who were guests here. And boy, did I drink a lot of white wine. <laughs> <laughs> just, it, it just kept showing up. Are you and feeling I kept okay drinking them. <laughs> Are you yeah. feeling okay today, Bitsy? No, I'm hungover. <laughs> <laughs> Schoolgirl error, always drink on the Saturday night. Yeah. yeah. I, I started with, I had a huge thing of French fries. So then I, I'm like, okay, well, because I just ate that many carbs, now I can just drink whatever I want. Science. Yeah. It's, it's actual science. Yeah. Sci it's science, you guys. It's not science. Just letting you know. It's not science. Um, okay, would you rather receive an email, a lovely email, or a lovely letter? Letter would be nice. Yeah. When's the last time we, you I got like epistolary relationships? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you have a pen pal at school? Uh, yeah, I totally did. I actually still write um, handwrite thank you notes. Do you? I do. That's yeah. lovely. I love that. Yeah. And what about you, Tyler? Would you rather? Yeah, I think one? handwritten. Um, I think same thing for like thank you notes and things like that. It's always nice to be able to do that. Um, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think the last time. I mean, yeah, I think a, a handwritten note is there's something very sweet about like the time and care that it takes to, to go into that. Yes. You you gave me a handwritten note for my birthday that I kept. Because it was a very funny looking uh, animal on the front and it made me laugh. And I was like, I'm going to keep this because it makes me laugh. <laughs> I love that. I don't think we write enough letters. Oh, well, letter, you guys. Um, okay. Uh, chips and dip or chips and salsa? Chips and salsa. Is the dip See, I don't like more. cilantro. So that's you, a tough one for you me. You really like your technicalities. <laughs> I don't know. Go if dip. it's guacamole, it's yeah, chips it's and guacamole. Guac. It's guac. Oh, the chips and dip. Okay. Yeah. Dip, uh, dip if it's cilantro free. I do not like cilantro. Uh, does it taste like detergent? I would to you? rather eat soap. Yes. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's that, so good. No, it's not. Can we have a yay for the cilantro fans? How about for the ones who hate it? We win. Cheated. I, think we win. Yeah. I need to yeah. use my microphone for that cheater. <laughs> it's a weird one. I did my 23 and me and it said genetically I'm predisposed to hating it. Yeah. It's so strange. So I barely meet an, an, a fellow cilantro hater. Yeah. So I actually I am a member of one, just one, group on Facebook, and it's the I Hate Cilantro Club. <laughs> Not It's one group or you're the one member. <laughs> <laughs> Like you were the only member in the group. No, she's the admin. Am I wrong? Did she not make it sound like that? A little bit? <laughs> um, okay, cats or dogs, very important. Dogs. Uh, dogs. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but, I do, but I do love hey, but I do love cats. The rest of the dog fans sound, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any cat fans here? Yeah. Love you guys. Uh, okay, uh, pop music or rock music, if you could only listen to one for the rest of your life. Right, uh, I mean, eh, rock. Rock? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, Tyler, what about you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, pop, I guess. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Do you remember what your first CD was or vinyl? Steve I Miller do. Band, Greatest Hits. Wait, what was yours? Steve Miller Band, Greatest Hits. Um, nice. uh, um, Stevie Wonder Songs in the Key of Life. Ah, oh, excellent. Yeah. Okay, main rubbish. I'm not even gonna say. Um, okay, comedy or horror? Comedy. Really I can't handle horror. I get too scared. So Do comedy. You? Yeah. Okay. What's the scariest film you've ever seen? I don't know if I've been. The Exorcist. It. No, I haven't I was, seen it. I, I was not answering it. for me. I was, oh. like, I was 11 years. I was 10 years old. I was 10 years old. We were at a friend's birthday party, and his mom decided to do a scary movie theme, and so. I'm the oldest person at the party. Let me remind you, I said I was 10. He was turning nine. Everybody else was like nine, eight, seven. Uh, she rented The Exorcist and The Shining. Oh, that's heavy duty for a 10 year old. And the only reason we watched The Exorcist is because we started with The Shining and it was back when you rented tapes. Um, and she rented the making of The Shining. So a few minutes in, there's like this documentary and she's like, oh, we'll switch it out, we'll watch The Exorcist instead ruined things for me for a very long time. Uh, my brother slept on the floor of my room for like five years after that. No joke. We actually just like slept on the floor of my room. We put on like 
Friends or some other movie to go to bed to like every night because it was just like as soon as the lights went out, I was like, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> yeah, that movie was gnarly for for a god. ten year old. Yeah. Well, that's the end of this and that, but I've got one last weird question to ask you, which I asked Gabriel Luna yesterday, and he looked at me and went, you're weird, and I was like, thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. Um, okay, are eyebrows facial hair? <laughs> I mean, it's hair on your face. No. you got to explain if you say yes or no. So, what, you said no straight away, Tyler, you yes. got to back up your answer. Um, give me your answer. I'm, I'm thinking of how to explain my rationale. Okay, here. okay. But look at his eyebrows. <laughs> what they about look it? like a little tiny beard, but on <laughs> above his eyes. <laughs> so if we're gonna call a beard facial hair, and he just has little beards up here, like a little goatee <laughs> and another little goatee. <laughs> See, I think you've just become my favorite person ever. <laughs> oh my Guys, uh, you heard it here first. Uh, Bitsy declaring that um, eyebrows um, are indeed uh, uh, beards for the eyes. Beards for the eyes. Like a little mustache. He's got two mustaches above okay, his okay, eyes. Okay, okay, so okay. So I have to put it this okay. way. Counter that. If you, like, if you had to go to like a doctor's appointment and they said, hey, just so you know, like, you can't eat or drink anything uh, before you come in. You can't intake anything. I'm like, okay, great. So if you come in and they say, well, did, you, did you intake anything today? And you said, no. They said, well, did you breathe any air? Did you bring any oxygen in? Like, well, yeah, but I didn't think like, I thought that kind of goes without saying. I'm like, obviously. I feel like the same thing with eyebrows. It's like, but do you have facial hair? No, what about your eyebrows? Oh, I didn't, okay. I didn't thought that one without saying. Don't, don't pretend like that made sense. <laughs> did it not? Did it not? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You <laughs> have to say that. I love the intensity of Tyler's ex. was like, you know what? And the way you started, I was like... I feel like it makes sense. It just kind of goes without saying. I like Bitsy's answer. Bitsy wins. Guys, for, please cheer if you think the eyebrows are um, facial hair. Or, yeah. Woo! Yes! <laughs> Mustaches above the eyes! Yes! <laughs> You're trying so hard. It's so nice. <laughs> I love it. Um, guys, uh, this has been ridiculous. I love it. Um, I love when panels go a little bit chaotic. Yeah, yes. Um, you guys are absolutely fantastic. Before we leave you, please, uh, what do you want to say to these lovely, this lovely lot here? I just want to say um, we are sorry that because of uh, because of the ongoing situation, we're not supposed to answer very specific questions about um, roles or shows or anything like that. And so I know that they sort of took away the Q and A, which is I'm sure really enjoyable. Um, and thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. Um, I just want to know what everybody thinks of Bitsy's facial hair. Uh, <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> I uh, love my facial hair. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, I know it is a weird weekend with as far as I, the Comic Cons are concerned, but uh, I'm glad that you guys still came. I'm glad that we could still be You're just here repeating everything and not I have said. to come out. Yeah, but I'm saying it better. Think so. of something original. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, thank you guys for coming out. It's always good to see you. It's going to be back in Chicago. Uh, always love it out here. So I see you waving in the back. There you go. Hi. Uh, yeah, thank you guys. Hope it's been a good weekend for you guys. Guys, please make a huge noise for Bitsy and Tyler. I want to give a special shout out to the Gold Ranger members, Anime King Nick, Chaos Draco, The Arctic Operator, Dig Wyron, Tim Rage, Roderick Hare, Miguel Ortiz, Let's Talk Sports, Papleon Oger, Roderick Ham, Jason Marazis, Willie Maloney, Louis Cairns, Salima Ramirez, Danny Nascimento, Skurd, Stephen Heffelman, and Thomas Franco. Thank you guys so much for your support. And if you want a video shout out like this one, sign up to be a Gold Ranger member today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member. Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans. Join a fan club official chat group. 
You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger Power Up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys. And thanks for watching. Peace. Hi. Hi. We're Bulk and Skull. We, we have are been requested, requested by, by the, the fan club, club to say, say something funny. <laughs>